assistance and, and the role of education. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm a big believer in the liberal arts education. I think it's overrated, or it's underrated, I mean, in that the computer science stuff is overrated. It's great, technical skills are amazing, but what has happened, as I referred to earlier, is we've just, all the storytellers are kind of gone, and the actual understanding of our users is gone. We've lost all that sensitivity, and yet I feel like that sensitivity comes first from really knowing yourself. So I encourage people to take classes not just in art and music, but in death and dying, dying and philosophy and theology, these things that you'll never make money on directly, but I think one of the most important things you can do is be interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I only really want to work with people who not only have those crappy jobs I talked about, but are also interesting. They have stories, there's some meat to them, there's some flesh, there's something really compelling. That's who you want to be with if you're gonna spend night and day building something together. That's who you want to travel with, these people with these perspectives and these stories. And so, and interestingness is not something that I think you're born with. I think it's achieved by vulnerability, by adventure, by all these things. And so I really emphasize interestingness. I think you can get it from, from studying, from reading, from putting yourself in uncomfortable positions. Uh, maybe more Americans should just hang out naked in saunas. That could make them more interesting. Uh, but, but traveling abroad, going to Ethiopia and helping dig wells, uh, it, that kind of stuff, I think, builds a much more impressive character. So Stuart Butterfield, who runs Slack, obviously one of the most successful investments in our portfolio, an amazing company. Stuart is a liberal arts major. That dude is fucking fascinating. Like, hanging out with that guy and talking about anything beyond Slack is amazing. He's Canadian, and he's got great insights into U.S. politics. But you just follow his snaps on Snapchat. The guy is... He eats well, he's checking out art, he knows music really well. He's a really interesting guy. So he becomes a magnet for talent. You wanna be around Stuart. He enriches your soul. And if you look at the team of people he's recruited, superstars like April Underwood, for instance, like he's really recruited an incredibly deep bench of people because they wanna have authentic and multi-dimensional relationships with him. And I think it comes through in the product too.